Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Perpetual here. If you're new, you're warmly welcome. And thank you all so much for joining me today as I prep our meals for the week. Come along and let's get started. So guys, over the past year, I have not been meal prepping as much because we've been home for the most part, but my kids are finally going back to school after more than a year at home so for this upcoming week to make the transition a little bit easier i decided to make a few base meals that i am going to be building on so making some fish stew for my husband and i and some jollof base stew that they will be using for their lunches and so what i usually do and i'm going to meal prep is get most of my ingredients prepared ahead of time and then when i start cooking i kind of go with the motion and i'm able to work a lot faster and so i'm just cutting up some peppers here i had quite a bit of like random pieces of peppers so what i do i'm going to cut up all that i have i'm going to be using some for my stew and i'm also going to set some aside for later maybe for some stir fry or if we're making some omelets in the morning we can get some in there as well and if you've been with me for a while you know that i do not like to waste any food so the little scraps of the peppers that are left over i am going to blend that all together with my tomatoes when i'm making my stew And my loves, before we keep going and get started on the real cooking, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please remember to do so right away and please, please, please turn on your notification bell so that you are among the first to know when I upload more amazing videos. And of course, if you like this video at the end, be sure to give me a thumbs up and always remember to tell a friend to tell a friend about my amazing channel. And thank you all so much for your support so far. So as you can tell, I got quite a little bit of the peppers and so I'm going to add my fresh tomatoes and I'm going to add a little bit of water and I'm going to blend it and then set it aside. So when I'm making stews, one thing that I like to do, especially if I have a lot of tomatoes, I like to go through my tomatoes and pick out the softer ones and use those first so that they do not go bad. And I'm going to get started on my onions as well. If you live in Ghana, this is onion season right here. Onions are a lot cheaper than they are regularly. So I had quite a bit and some of them have started to go bad. So I definitely needed to use them up. So I'm slicing some for the stew and then roughly chopping some that I'm going to blend also for the stew, but for different pots. So first up, I am just blending up my tomatoes. When it's done, I'm going to set it aside. And since I have the blender out, I might as well blend all the stuff that I need. So once the tomato goes out, I'm gonna get my onions in there and blend that up as well. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of the onion in the blender after I pour it out and I'm going to add my pepper to that for today I'm using yellow peppers the yellow habanero ones they're really fragrant and they are super spicy so if you use these you want to be careful I like really spicy food so all right and then for my fish it's frozen what I do is when I buy it I portion it out and freeze it so I'm going to get that to thaw and I'm adding a little bit of salt to the water while it thaws seasoning at every level and so at this point I'm going to get started on my jollof base stew so I'm getting a lot of oil into my pot I'm making quite a big batch at least for my family and I'm adding some corned beef this corned beef is actually leftover corned beef filling from when I made meat pies. I'm going to share that recipe with you pretty soon, but I'm going to get that frying. So as you can tell, there are chunks of veggies in there, again, because I used it as filling for my meat pies. 
And while that goes on, I am going to prep my fish. I'm gonna get it out of the water into a separate bowl and I'm going to be seasoning it. Very simple seasoning, just about a tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning mix. And I'm going to link that recipe in my description box as usual. I'm all about making my life easier. So of course the all-purpose seasoning mix is perfect. And while that goes on, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato paste to my jollof stew. And I'm going to stir that really well to make sure that the tomato paste is nice and incorporated into the oil and the corned beef. Now, of course, this is not the most detailed video that I have of my jollof base stew. So I'm going to get that in the description box as well. I filmed and published that a few weeks ago. So you're gonna have a full video of that to reference as well. And I had quite a bit of tomato paste left over after I started my stew and I've already set some aside for my fish stew but I still have some left so I'm just transferring it into a container and I'm going to keep that in the fridge for when I need to use it. One thing about meal prep is that it involves a lot of multitasking so be sure to pay attention to the food that you start. So for my fish I am just dusting it with a little bit of flour and then I'm going to start deep frying it. So what I've done, I have switched my jollof stew to the smaller element so that it cooks slowly and I'm using my largest one for the fish because I can get really high heat on that. And so while the fish fries, I'm going to check on my jollof stew and I have added a little bit of the fresh tomatoes and that's gonna cook for a while while I go back to my fish. And to get the fish nice and crispy, you wanna make sure that you fry it on high heat so that the oil does not get absorbed into it too much. And of course, you always wanna be checking on the other stew that is going on. And so I'm adding a little bit of my habanero pepper mix into my stew as well. And I'm gonna cover it up and lower the heat and let it cook. And at this point, I'm just getting some seasoning into my stew and gonna give it another quick stir and allow it to continue doing its thing while I take the first batch of fish out of my oil and start frying the second one. I fried my fish in batches so that it gets nice and crispy and the oil does not lower its temperature too much because when that happens, the fish will get soggy. So for my jollof stew, I am adding one of the last ingredients, which is the blended onions. And I'm going to give it a quick stir and adjust the seasoning if need be. Once the fish is done, you can strain the oil that you fried the fish in and use a little bit of that as well as some new oil and then get all your sliced up onions into the oil like you see right here. Now in order to get all the flavors out of the onions, you wanna make sure that your heat is low to medium and not too high because you don't wanna burn it and not too low that you sit there for hours. But this part takes quite a few minutes and then you can go ahead and add the pepper and because this is the last stew that I'm making, I'm gonna make sure that I get all of it out of the blender and I get it nice and spicy. And when you add your pepper, you allow it to fry on low to medium heat for about five to 10 minutes before you go on with your next ingredients. 
Remember when I said multitasking? Make sure that you do not forget about the other stew that we have going on. So I go back to that and stir it occasionally. And then once my pepper is nice and fried up, I'm gonna add some tomato paste, not as much as I used for the other stew. This is only about a quarter cup of tomato paste. It's very concentrated anyway. So I'm gonna add that and give it a quick stir as well. And then after a few minutes, I am going in with the rest of my blended tomatoes, the fresh ones, the ones that I blended with my bell peppers. Yeah, that one. Getting all of that in there as well. And I'm going to allow this to cook for about 15 minutes. And so now that I have the bulk of my meals already going today i'm not making any soup because i already have some in the freezer so there's no need i figured it'd be a perfect time for me to clean out my fridge so i'm gonna get that done and of course while that goes on you always want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on your stew as well and oh yeah i got some new fridge liners that are life-saving i got them at orca deco and i absolutely love them i was using paper towel before but this is way better. <laughs> And I'm going to amp up the flavor of my stew by adding about a teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning mix and I'm going to stir that in and a little bit later I am also going to add some of my spice blend cube. And I have just added a cube of my spice blend as well and I did that together with my all-purpose seasoning mix so all of those links will be in the description box. Now guys, when I make stews in a hurry, I usually put more oil than I need because it helps the stew cook a little bit faster. So when I'm towards the end of my stew, I take out all the excess oil. I'm going to set it aside. It can go in the freezer and it is packed with flavor so you can use it for your next stew. I'm even going to be using some a little bit later for my rice. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of curry powder. I like a lot of curry powder. If you like less, use less. It is just a preference. So do what works best for you and your family. And then I'm also going in with about half a tablet of Maggie. So any seasoning cube that you have or you can completely eliminate it as well. Now that the stew is almost done, I'm going to go ahead and add my fried fish and I'm going to add it in parts. So I'm adding about four pieces. I'm going to allow the flavors to kind of infuse and merge together. And then I'll add the rest a little bit later. I do this to make sure that I maintain the structure of the fish. And once you get the fish in, you want to be really delicate with your stirring because you can break the fish apart. And after the fish goes in, it is a perfect time for you to check on your seasoning. And if you need to add a little bit more salt to your food, this is a great time for you to do that. So after adding the remaining fried fish, I'm going to go ahead and add some sliced onions because I love the crunch that it gives. 
and you know for sure my kids are not gonna have this because they hate seeing chunks of vegetables in their stew so this is really for my husband and I and after the onions go in for about a minute I'm going to add some bell peppers as well so today because I'm using up what I have I am adding some red yellow and green bell peppers but use whatever you have on hand and if you don't have any you really don't have to add any at this point anyway And so while I allow our stew to simmer, I'm going to make a little bit of rice that we're going to be having for lunch. I am using the leftover oil from my fish stew and I'm going to get some onions in there, allow it to fry and get nice and caramelized and then I'm going to add my rice. This is my makeshift really quick, really easy curry rice. So when the rice goes in, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of curry powder as well. Usually when I make curry rice, it is nice and elaborate with herbs and spices and a little bit of coconut milk. But today, to be completely honest, I am in a hurry. We were going to go out, so I wanted to get all of this out of the way before we had to head out. So I'm going to get some water in there and allow it to cook and it cooks quite quickly because I'm only making a little bit for my husband and I. So that's it. We're going to cover it up and allow it to cook. And so while that cooks, I'm going to go back to the fridge and just finish up that cleaning so that when my meals are nice and packed, they can go into the fridge and then we can head out and I don't have to come back and worry about cooking or cleaning. One thing I love about this rice, not just the color, but it is so fragrant and it is the perfect accompaniment for my fish stew. And because I did not use so much of the curry powder, I've added a little bit of salt to the rice and then I'm going to cover it up, but I'm going to have to remember to check on it because it will burn quite quickly if I just leave it. And once our meal was done, it was a race against time. We really had to head out. So what I'm packing right now, we're going to eat on the go. And so the first one that I'm making is for my husband and then I'm going to pack one for myself as well. And then I'm going to dish out the rest so that I can clean up quickly before we go. So I dished out two portions of the rice, the one with the larger rice portion being for my husband, obviously. And so this one right here will be for me and I'll just eat it in the car, like I said, because Charlie, life happens. We need to get out. <laughs> and once this is done, I'm going to get started on the jollof stew. So I'm going to divide this into two. The first one will be larger because we'll eat it together. So when I'm making the jollof, it will be for all of us. And then when I'm done later on, the one that I portion that's smaller, I'm going to use it to make lunch for my kids for when they go back to school because for the first week, they're not going to be getting lunch from school. And after dishing it out, we still had a little bit of rice left. So I'm going to pack that and set that aside as well. So I'm going to dish that out with the fish stew so that it's ready to go in case at some point I need to rush out again. And this way, if it's nice and ready to go, I avoid buying food out when I go because I can just pick it up and eat it on my way. And then the last bit of fish stew will also go into another glass container and I'm going to keep that in the fridge for whenever we need it. And then the last part, like I was saying, the smaller portion of the jollof stew will just be for my kids for lunch. So guys, with our lunches packed, with our jollof stew ready to go for the week and our leftover fish stew, our week will be so much easier. At least mine will be. It will run more seamlessly. And since I cleaned out my fridge, here you go. Take a look and look at the food that we have packed. I hope this is motivation for you to meal prep for the week.
And thank you all so much for coming along with me on this absolutely delicious journey. I'll see you all again very soon. Have a great day and take care. Bye.